a walk across Taiwan's highest and longest suspension bridge, a bike trip around the country's largest natural lake, and a jump off the top of one of Taiwan's most striking wooden structures. What the Maya. These are just some of the ways you can test your limits in Nanto County at the mountainous heart of Taiwan. Uh,带我们来的这个地方是什么地方呢？好，这个地方呢，是我们在信义乡的一个呃非常有名的双龙瀑布吊桥哈。那这个吊桥它最具有特色的地方，它是全国最长，同时也是最深的。我们在全长总
Every year there's an annual swim across Sun Moon Lake. It's about three kilometers long and tens of thousands of people will join in. Now I've done it before and I always thought that was my favorite way to experience the lake. But if you're in the lake, you can't actually see it. Now my new favorite way is on a bike. The next day, I set out on a special boat trip straight to the heart of the lake. We passed by Lalu Island, a spiritual place for the Thao people. Legend has it that their ancestors discovered the lake while chasing a white deer, which led them to this very spot. Now this is no ordinary boat tour. We're not just here to see the sights, we're also here for the smells. My teacher, Tim Meiling, who is indigenous Bunun, has laid out some of the fragrances of Nanto things like pine, tangerine, and a lemony mountain pepper that the local people use to cook with called Macau. We choose our favorite notes and very carefully mix them together into a signature fragrance. There are a lot of different scents in here, I say. Scents from the mountains like Cyprus and scents from indigenous villages like Macau. They all come together to create the scent of Nanto. Next stop, Shini Township, which grows more plums than anywhere else in Taiwan. And I want to sample them straight from the tree. You know, tree to mouth. Oh, it's really sour. Really, really sour and astringent. But you know what? It takes the creativity of human beings to turn this into something that's amazing and edible. They make more than 200 different products out of this here. And that's a great way to help the local farmers. I'm not going to finish this. <laughs> local farmers pick these plums by hand in late spring. They dry, pickle, preserve, or ferment them. In fact, about half of the plum crop gets turned into wine. Two decades ago, the local farmers association built a winery in the foothills of Jade Mountain. The manager, Dori Zhang, brings me down into the basement to see the wine cellar. Dori tells me that they left the mold on the walls to show the cellar's history, just like some wineries overseas do. But what makes this place different is that they ferment the wine in terracotta pots. This is 60% alcohol in here. This is plum wine, and it smells amazing. The smell of the plums, it's so fresh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> While the people of Shini Township are fermenting award-winning plum wines, in the nearby mountains, they're growing and brewing some of the nation's best teas. More than half of all the tea in Taiwan is grown in Nanto, thanks to the cooler mountain temperatures. And they've been doing it here since the Qing Dynasty. Tea Master Zhang Su Luan has come up with her own version of a Taiwanese tea ceremony, which she calls a tea circle. Each participant gets one of eight different local teas to brew and an apron with the name of the tea on the front. I'm Oriental Beauty. Zhang gives us each the brewing instructions for our variety and guides us through the process of sampling it and then serving it to each other. Later, as we sample some of her locally inspired treats, she explains how Taiwanese tea ceremonies are different from the ones in Japan and Korea. I came to Nanto hoping to sample the local plums and tea, but I got a taste of something much greater. The ingenuity, the pride, 
and the hospitality of the local craftspeople. 南投县其实是一个民主大熔炉哈，在南投县不同群体的人非常的多。南投县我们是一个山城，虽然我们是比较保守的地方，可是我们的包容性跟接纳度其实是很高的。The inclusiveness of the people of Nanto is also reflected in this wooden structure. It was designed by an Australian architect using wood from Austria that was cut by Germans. It uses parts from Italy and Finland. And it was imported by Taiwanese, who assembled it right here in Nanto. Yura Wu is the mastermind behind this impressive project. This life history itself has three world records. Because it is the largest structure in the world, the most massive, the highest height of 30.8 meters, and it has a ramp, a skywalk, a bridge, the longest. It has 386 meters. Wow. So. 呃，我们想为台湾留下一些说，哎、欸，让全世界知道说，我们台湾人也是有很棒的建的建筑。Believe it or not, this is also a working factory. It's the nation's biggest producer of storage containers and toolboxes. It's also a smart factory and a green building with environmentally friendly features. But clearly, it's much more than just a factory. It's a mini theme park. Whoa, 哎、欸，真的很快呢。Yura Wu is not only a designer by trade, he's also a fan of extreme sports. And you can see that right in the walls of the complex. You can go rock climbing, or storage container climbing, I should say. You can also jump 10 stories from the top of the Tree of Life. Somehow, they convinced me to put on safety gear and slowly walk to the top. I can feel my palms sweating. Why am I doing this again? Uh, I feel sick. This is the show. And then they give me the countdown. Ten, five, six. Now we go to three, two, one, and go forward. One, two, three, go. Wow! Oh my God! Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Whoa! Oh, I have to say, I really hate heights. This is the scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Oh man, I can't even breathe. <laughs> hey, mom, I'm alive. <laughs> I still can't believe I did that. I think there's something about Nanto that has inspired me to take chances, try something new, think outside of the box. Now that's something that Iro Wu is good at, literally thinking outside of the toolbox. The best example of that is located on the eighth floor of his factory, the World Austronesian Center. It's a one-of-a-kind immersive experience and a labor of love. The goal? To help visitors learn more about Taiwan's indigenous roots. Here, right here, is the world. 最能认识台湾的地方，这里也也是全台湾最接近国际的地方之一。Before leaving Nanto, there's one last place to visit: an indigenous village with the perfect view of the tallest mountain in Taiwan. Now, as you can see, it's just a little bit too cloudy to see Jade Mountain today. But if you use your imagination, you look at that V shape behind me. It's a little nub that sticks out on the left-hand side. Now, of course, I'm disappointed, but that's the nature of travel. And the good thing is, it gives us an excuse to come back and visit again someday. The county chief says the people of Nanto are diverse and inclusive, and she's right. But there's another thing they share in common: their courage, the courage to climb to new heights, to share their hometown and their culture, and to dream big. The same mountains formed by earthquakes, which separate them from the outside world. Also, give them perspective, putting them head and shoulders above the rest of Taiwan.